Hello, in this video today we'll be discussing how to upload the AWS credentials onto Linux Jobber. Here's a quick overview of what we'll be discussing. So we're going to show how to get the EC2 credentials. We'll discuss IAM, uh, the security groups, what you need to do to get the credentials. And then we'll end it by actually uploading the credentials to linuxchopper.com. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're here on the AWS uh, home page. What you want to do is click register now and you want to register for a new account. Now, no, this is not the correct thing. Give me one second. So we, what we need to do is click here on sign in to the console. And then if you're a new user, you go ahead and select I'm a new user, enter in your email or mobile phone number, and then you sign up for a free account. Now because I already have my account, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, let this load. Alright, so since I have these recently viewed ones, I'll show it for a brand new user. You want to click here on services and go down to I am for security and credentials. Now we're going to let this load. We're going to go to users. Now I have a user here, but if you don't, you just have to add a user. And then once you have it here, you select the user. And what we need to do is set the permissions for that user. Now, if you don't have a group, you need to create a group here. Uh, I put the name Linux Jobber, just because it makes sense to me. And it already exists, but this is just an example. I'm not actually going to create it. Then you want to search here for Administrator. Administrator. Okay, yeah. And then you're going to select Administrator Access. This will provide full access to AWS services and resources. You need to add this uh, permissions, otherwise you won't be able to properly upload the credentials to Linux Jobber. It'll keep saying that you have the incorrect, uh, I believe it's the access key. So then you would click create group. Um, I already did this, so I'm not going to. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back. And I have it here. So you should, once you create the group, you should be able to see it here. And make sure that on the attached permissions, it says administrator access. Otherwise, this will not work. Then you want to click on security credentials. And you're going to create a new access key. Now, this is very important as well. This is the secret key here. This, and read this because this is the only time that the secrets secret access key will be can be viewed or downloaded once this is gone it's gone forever so you need to click on download the CSV file we can see it down here okay so now once this is done uh, downloading uh, we're gonna go to linuxjobber.com uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log in Okay, and then we should get to this page here. Now we will be scrolling down here, and because I already did this, it had, it already lists it. But when you are doing it for the first time, you're going to choose the file, and it should be under your downloads or your favorites, either one. Uh, you can check the date and time to be sure to verify that it, it matches up for when you, when you uh, downloaded it under I am. So then you just select the right one, click open, and then you click upload credentials. Now once that's done you should be able to see all your instances here. And this will allow you to start your instances from Linux Jobber instead of having to do it from uh, AWS. So that is it for now. Um, let's just go back and do a quick little summary here. So, uh, 
So we showed how to get the EC2 credentials, uh, discussed how you go into IAM first, and then we went to uh, the users. I'll just go back here and do it again. So we went to the users. I specified how you need to add permissions here to the group, and it needs to be uh, administrator access. So here, let me go back. Once you have the group here, you should see administrator access. Then from there, we go to Linux Jobber, choose the file, and then upload the credentials. And then from there, you should be set to go. You should be able to start all your instances uh, from Linux Jobber rather than Amazon. Okay, thank you for watching.